Hi there, hey, we are going to get into linear perspective. And that is the, the system by which you can use um, mostly straight lines, except when you have to draw a curve, and you make it look like it's going back into the distance. As if you were driving down a road, a straight road, and you see it going back and back and back into the distance. Here's the basics of how it's doing and how we're going to apply it. First, we're going to draw some cubes to understand how to do that. Then we're going to take those cubes and put letters on them and even stack them up and rotate them like that. Okay, it gets to be um, pretty interesting. It gets There's a lot of math involved, but we're not going to do any math. I'm going to show you the shortcuts on how to do it. And here's how you're going to get started. We're also going to, uh, when we draw these, they're going to have this kind of quality at first to understand how to do it. That's one point perspective. Here's two point perspective. See how they look a little bit different. We're going to get into, like I said, stacking up those blocks and putting your initials there, and we're even going to get into coloring. All right, but that's a little ways away. Let's go to the beginning. All you need is a ruler, a pencil, and a few pieces of paper. So on the first piece of paper, um, we're just going to make four boxes, and they don't have to be perfect. Um, just make four boxes, and I would make them, watch how fast I can do these, and try to make these boxes at least the size of what you might think of as a, a golf ball, like if that was a golf ball inside there, something like that. And they don't all have to be the same size. They don't have to line up with each other perfectly. It's okay if one is more of, like this one, one is more of a rectangle. And what we'll do is we'll kind of erase some of these extra lines. And these two boxes over here, they don't have to be aligned with these two. Let me see. I'm going to make another line that kind of goes over here and kind of see that, it, try to make it parallel. We're going to have to know what that means. Parallel means two lines that never meet. They go the same direction. I like to turn the paper before I try to make the other sides of a box. And again, I'm intentionally making these not line up with each other. That's fine. Now, if you accidentally do that, see that wonky angle there? I think you should try to fix that. And then you can erase. All right, now, all there is to it, and this is called one point perspective because there is only one point that you need to use to make these look like cubes. Okay, And it doesn't matter which corner you go into, we can even label it one point, PT, one point perspective. All right, And you're going to do yours this size on the one side of a piece of paper. It doesn't matter if it's going portrait or um, landscape doesn't really matter, but I'm going to make my one point go off into that corner, and I want you to literally make a kind of a fat dot right there. Okay, then all you do, it's really this simple, and there's no other way to do it. So try not to, don't make things up, just follow these instructions. All you're going to do is go from this dot to these three corners, the three corners that are kind of um, on the same side as that dot. You will not go from this corner because it'll look like it's a, a see-through um, wire cube. So watch this. I'm going to put my pencil right there. Tap my ruler. Find the corner. Now do not draw a long line like that because you're just going to have to do a lot of erasing. What I suggest is that you just draw a little line like that. Okay. Otherwise, you have to, do, you have to just erase all of that. Now you're still going to do a little erasing. That's fine. Then from this corner, I'm going to put my ruler here this time and just kind of make that line. And same thing, that each of these lines must, they have to go right to, that, right to that dot. If they don't, it's wrong. So these three lines have to go right there. Then the other part of it, so those are called orthogonal lines or perspective lines, we can call them too. The next part is if you see this cube, you can see the corner and the two sides, the two edges over here, they are all parallel to each other. 
So if I put my pencil here and here and here, they're all they're going the same angle. And that's what we're going to represent next. So all we do, and I like to put my ruler on this, light, this side and just kind of carefully slide it over without you know, doing all of that. Slide it over. And anywhere you want to, you can draw that line to show the, the end of the cube. Now we have to, from that line, we have to go across, but we have to make sure it's parallel to the top of this cube. And again, I like to turn the paper so my eye can see this line, and I'm going to stop my ruler right, right where this line stopped and draw that line, hold my ruler down. See, then you have that one point perspective, nice looking cube. And I'll ask you to erase that. That's all you do, and you're going to do it with each of these. Now, each one must go to this dot. And here's how fast it can go if you kind of get used to it. So if you want to, you can just do all of these orthogonal or perspective lines first. Now, if you noticed, none of these boxes go way over here toward the edge. That's important because if you, I'll just do it with one freehand. If you do a box way over here at the edge, this angle right here. If it's correct, it goes way up to the corner, okay, and then the next one goes way up to the corner, and these two lines get really close together. So when you make your boxes, kind of get them in the middle of your paper, okay? That is a kind of an important thing because it looks really confusing over here. Now I can just go around and slide my ruler and turn it and, and put my 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 eyes are right over the top of the ruler so I can really see where I'm going and I'll erase the rest of those. So here, slide up. I could go here or here or here or here or here. It doesn't matter. Just try to make this line really parallel to that one. And notice, I would honestly, guys, get used to turning your paper so you can make a nice clean line. Um, I like to almost always have the ruler kind of parallel to my body, okay, to my shoulders. I, I usually don't um, draw the lines like that. I can, but I like to go this way. It's kind of up to you, but again, this one's going to slide out until I see the end of this line. Hold the ruler down. And that's done after you erase all your little extras and on this guys it doesn't matter if I see those little eraser marks no big deal okay that's the first part of our um, um, perspective there you go um, on the other side of this paper we'll do the second part all right the idea there was to stop the video do those do those and um, then come back to this video now, there are two rules we followed that up here. First rule was orthogonal lines or perspective lines, the lines that went, all of them went right up to that point, that vanishing point. Okay, that's what it's called, is a vanishing point. Um, the second rule was parallel lines. Remember, we grabbed the parallel lines from the original cube, uh, the original box. Okay, we're still going to use those two rules, but we're going to apply them to two-point perspective. So this one is going to be two-point perspective. Two-point perspective. Now, I would suggest that you go landscape. Let the paper be long. We're going to add one more element, and that is the element of a horizon line. Okay, All it is is a straight line that goes across the middle of the page. It doesn't really matter if it's right in the middle, just kind of in the middle. Okay, since it's called two point perspective, we're going to put one point here at the very end and another point right there at the very end. Okay, that's why it's called two point perspective, and we're going to use those points to create our cubes. But now there's a difference. Here, whoops, we made the box first. This time, 
we're only going to draw this line right there first, the corner of it. Now, um, I'm going to bring this cube back and forth here a little bit and show you how it works on paper and how it really does represent what's in real life as well. All right, so horizon line. You have to imagine that this part up here is the sky, and this part down here is the earth, is the land. Okay, sky and, and land. Here's what you do. You're going to make three cubes up here, two across the middle, and three down here. So just kind of watch for a minute. Um, let me do this. You're going to draw a cube. I'm sorry, just draw that corner. And again, it doesn't matter if all of these are the same height or length, but you can see how big they are. Okay, they're a good inch to inch and a half in there somewhere. Now also notice, in the same idea, do not draw lines way out here. And again, that line represents the front corner of a cube. Okay, then we're going to do the same thing down below. And they don't have to line up with each other. They don't have to be the exact same at all. But again, do not let them go way out here. It'll just look kind of wonky. Now we're going to do two cubes that go through the horizon line. One can be a little taller and shorter. They don't don't have to be exactly like mine, but you'll arrange them something like this. All right, here's the deal. We're going to do the orthogonal lines first. So from the top and bottom of our corner, because you can see from the top and bottom of a corner, see that angle right there? All I have to do is turn this a little bit, and it represents what's going on up here. Okay, it, it all depends on where it is in space. If something gets moves up in space above your eyes, you start to see the underside. So that's what's going to happen. So we're going to see this side, this side, and the underside. And as soon as I do that, look how this angle changes right here. And that angle changes right there. Okay, so that's what we're going to get. So from the top of that line, we go to our vanishing point. From the bottom of that line, we go to our vanishing point. Again, no need to draw a line all the way there. Okay, then we switch to this vanishing point way over here. So from the top of that line, we just draw a little line that, go, that points exactly to there. Remember, with this, guys, there's only one way to do it. The only way to do this correctly is to let those hit those vanishing points. There's no other way in the world it can happen. Now, if I start to be here again, we go back to parallel. This front corner that we drew first is parallel to the side, to the, this edge, and this one is parallel to that edge. You can see that work in reality here. So, we kind of do the same thing. We're going to grab that angle. We're going to slide over a little bit. Could have been here, could have been over here, it doesn't matter. Then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to slide Always slide away from that line so you can kind of tell if the, if the ruler is remaining parallel. Okay, so we have the two sides drawn. Now we have to figure out how to draw the bottom. Okay, and the bottom, see this angle here and that angle up there? They are represented right here and here. Okay, so look how the side and this back one back here all go the same direction. Okay, so that's what happens. So here, here, right to there. Then we're going to come over here and do the same thing. We're just going to take that angle, and it's almost like you go to the opposite side. You can think of it like that too. So this corner from the right on the right side goes to the left vanishing point. Then we do the same thing over here. So this corner from the left side of the cube, for the underside, will go over to the right vanishing point. And then when you erase all of your tails, you know, you'll have that nice floating cube. That looks like it's up in the sky. Now, as a shortcut, here's what happens when you do the bottom ones. The bottom ones, now it looks like you are looking on top of these cubes because these, this is where your eyes are, right there. Okay, remember, that's the sky. This is the ground. This one now is sitting on the ground. That's what it appears. And the same thing. There's your vanishing points. 
There's your vanishing point line, your orthogonal lines. Okay? I'll do one really fast. I'll do the center one. On the bottom, you go up to the exact same vanishing points. Okay, go up to the exact same vanishing point on this side. And we go to parallel. We're going to slide and draw. Slide away from that center line and draw. Now again, here it is. It's oops, something like that. When we're standing above it, we can see the top. The two sides, look at those angles going up like that. See that? That goes up to the vanishing point. Now we do the same kind of thing. We're going to go from the right side of the top over to the left vanishing point, and from the left side of the top over to the right vanishing point where they touch each other is where it ends, and you can erase the tails. Now the center two are even easier, but here's what happens. Look how if I angle this just right, see that this angle over here goes down, this one goes also down because they're going back to the vanishing points. But we don't see the top and we don't see the bottom. Okay, that's the difference here. So in our drawing, we go down to the vanishing point and from the bottom we go up to the vanishing point because it's on either side of the horizon line. Same thing happens over here. This goes all the way over to the other, all the way over to that other vanishing point. Now we do, so those are the orthogonal lines. Now we go straight out and draw that parallel. And we work our ruler away. We draw that parallel. And we can erase the extras, but it's also nice to erase the horizon line. Then it looks solid. Now what you are going to do is do all of these. Something similar to that. Yours is going to be more complete. Okay? So on this piece of paper, you are going to have four cubes using one point perspective. And by the way, this is the last time you're going to use one point perspective. This is just to learn the rules. And on the back side, you're going to do two point perspective with three on top, three below, and two in the two across the middle. Okay, just like you see here. And just like you see right there. Oops, sorry about the glare. Just like you see there. All right, have fun with that. We'll see you at the next video.